Hello everyone and welcome back to Gregory Horror Show. And last time we learned a little bit more about the inventory system and learned what uh, our friend was looking for. Although I don't have all the answers on how to go about to doing that. We'll find out hopefully in this one. Seems like Judgment Boy wanted some type of fruit. Although, hold on. Let's see if we have any notes exactly about how to go about this. But not the book. Um, uh, this point here. His judgment training where he's clearly not into it. Um, there's a brief time where he goes back to his room, and right now it's around six-ish, so, okay, I think I got all this stuff put in, back in, All the stuff where I want in the inventory, I actually think I gotta put them up in the right spot. Oh. Miss Fancy Pants is gonna be coming this way, so I'm gonna go the other way. I would think it's Judgment Boy, but I might not be correct on that. Wait, is she still in that room? I guess she is. Wow. Storeroom. It's a matter of just really looking around and seeing if you can find stuff. But... Oh. Oh, nope. Nope, 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 nope. It blocked. Uh oh. I I need to run. I refuse to be get involved, Ribbit. Gee, thanks. Oh, what? Why am I looking? Go, 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 go. Oh my goodness. Goodness. <laughs> oh gosh, I was actually somewhat concerned with that. Oh wow. That is something else. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get caught. Oh. That made my heart skip a beat. <laughs> Just Having that whole thing happen. Oh. Day one, cloudy. I've to start keeping, decided to start keeping a diary. One day, I'm ri when I'm rich and famous, it's sure gonna be a bestseller. All right, here I go. Day two. Grandpa's getting a new room today. I guess someone's coming tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'll have to look inside and see what kind of idiot is staying with us this time. Day three. I got a look at a new guest today. His name's Raymond. Apparently, he the face looks a lot older than I imagined. Now, how can I make our guest feel more at home? This is going to be fun. That's the last entry. Gregory Exposed 3. Mm. Okay. She's headed back down this way. Yeah, no, I'm not getting chased again. <laughs> I'd rather not have to deal with that. I, I, I know I might have to, but I'd rather not. Hello, Judgment. Judgment! <sighs> Symbolizes my problem. I would say, if anything, the one that symbolizes my problem is this. 
because I've been holding on to it. But I don't know if that's what he's talking about. Or what? Gosh. The random talking is gonna get me put on. <laughs> Could probably put anyone on ease. Here you'll find peace and truth you've been seeking. Alright. She's having fun probably stabbing her bed. Let's see what Judgment Boy's doing. Alright. Um, hopefully he's not asleep. Yes, he is. James, are you still writing that diary? It's judgment time. You gave up writing only after three days? Okay. Um. Let's see. Where's everyone? I might be able to get. Let me see if I can actually pick up the diary. I don't know if I can or not. Or, no, bolted from the other side. All right. Can I pick it up? Maybe there's more? I don't know. Oh, he's gonna be right there. Yeah, yeah let's pick this up. Moving right along. If you want one of my judgments. Okay, that was really weird. He's totally okay with me being in his room. Alright. Um So it I guess it has to be a key item. Well, that's not gonna be helpful. So, well, we can pick up another book here. Let's go ahead and do that. And... Got a bandage. A tiny bit of that game. There we go. Heal it up a little bit. Thing is, that thing goes down real fast. You have to, you have to look through it. Um, is he gonna get mad? <laughs> Judgment! <laughs> 
Did you get the judgment way to judge you yet? Here we go. You know what? Actually, let's see if we can bring James over to Judgment Boy and see what happens. That might actually be what we need to do. Let's see. This is the only beginning of... What? Um, lots of things. Key. This place is totally boring. I'm gonna go ahead and go out and play. Oh. Um... Oh, darkness. Uh, okay. I believe darkness is if you haven't read. Because it, ha it, it got fixed when I read something. Entirely sure to be honest. I could be completely wrong. Yeah, this is a bit weird to say the least. There's just no words for how weird and bizarre that is. Alright. Hmm. Okay, she's on the other side. Who's in here? Or is it going to show anybody? It does not. Will you be able to give us somewhat of a hint? Do I have anything? I do. Thank you. Here, take this. I got an empty gift. I don't know what it's good for, but you can have it if you want. Hmm. An empty juice can, don't forget it to throw it in the bin. I guess we can read the final thing of syringe. Monthly? Yeah. High quality. Oh my gosh. Alright. Let's read some more syringe monthly. Because we just want to know exactly what happens to us. And we're tired. Oh, fantastic. Um, let's get some sleep. Maybe a lot that, that that'll take care of the tiredness. I don't know. You can see the light again. I guess darkness is if you're just hanging out at night. Or if you've seen way too much. Um where can we go from here? Oh, now I think about it.
genetically modified orange juice. Um, might be able to trade some of that stuff in for items. Since we've actually not done any trading yet, so let's kind of just see about that. Welcome to Grit. Um, medicines. Eye drops allow you to see the light. Special orange juice. Oh, please don't ask. Um, I'll do a green herb. Well, then I'll exchange your drops for. Yes. Relax while you still can. Oh, don't mind me. He he. Please come. And don't lose your mind. Gee, thanks. All right. Yeah, don't go that way. Um. Hmm. I haven't found anything too definitive at this point that would actually tell me what I need. Maybe I need to spy on him. <laughs> you like Grandpa? If you're gonna have a tough time considering where I hit it. <laughs> Game over, suckers. You always. Good guys always lose. Any luck, Grandpa? You're gonna have a tough time finding it considering where I hit it. So, I don't know if that has to do anything with him, but apparently he hid something. Let's see if we can actually find out what it is. We might be able to, we might not. Traded a green herb just to get one off his shelf. Oh no 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 <laughs> no. Nope. Which way? Okay, that way. Um. Hmm. There are many different guests stay in our hotel. Now I'm sure you would never do such a thing, but. You're not taking notes of the other guest's behavior, are you? I think it would be wise not to interfere with the other guest's private affairs. Alright. Kinda just... went into her room and just... <laughs> rifled through all that. Okay, so... Oh, man. I feel bad, because I want to keep playing this, but I am... Comp I, I will be honest, I am stuck. Um... I'm honestly probably going to have to cut away and then come back to when I actually do find something. So, I'll have to do that, as much as I don't want to. Alright. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. Really? Yep. That's a thing. Looking everywhere for something and I had to find it there. That's crazy. Alright, so let's show... I'm assuming this is some sort of contraband. I mean, come on. I just... I, sir? Sir, I, I have some contraband that you might want. Uh, how nice to see you. And what can I do for you? Huh? Huh? Where did you find that book? Okay. You don't say. You found it in Catherine's room? Yep, I did. This is quite serious. I'm afraid I'll have to confiscate it. For some... I guard it with my life. Nah, we're gonna hand it over. Wise not to make too much of a fuss. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh. No, I think you should read something more tasteful. Oh. This piece of <clears throat> this book. But if you're looking for such a book, I suggest mm -hmm. you try the first floor library. It says ground floor library, but they say first floor. Sure, uh. a little reading will make all of your worries melt away. Uh huh. Now then. Ooh. Oh really? Oh my gosh, that, that that's that, that's just. Oh, he's bolting for it. Alright. I'm sorry, but... I... <sighs> Wait. Oh, he's over there. Alright, fine. Well, we'll go to the library. Oh my gosh that just finding that was something else because it was something obscure somewhere that I wouldn't have even really thought that much to pick up but uh, that's whatever it's whatever all right well oh this is lit up got a key item self-help book well, I mean, if anything else, I, I think I, we know somebody that needs some help, because he can't really seem to be motivated to do his, um, his own thing. Yeah, he's in his room, so we'll see if this self-help book can help him be a little bit more motivated to do stuff. Hey. You're carrying a self-help book, aren't you? you? Yes, I am. Well then, it's time to judge which path your future will take. To will Bright young man who's accidentally wandered into a hotel from another dimension. Oh? There's only one way to get back to the real world. Well. You must collect lost souls! The hotel is full of danger! You can't run and you can't hide! So, what do you do? You... Just try and stop me. I give up. I mean... This seems a lot more positive. Righty then, let's ask the scales of truth! Which will it be, money or love? Only the scales know for sure. Advent! Here we go! He didn't drop the heart, he dropped the dollar sign. It shattered yes, to pieces. No matter how tough things got, you never gave up. 
You followed the path you had created for yourself and found your way back to the real world. Real. That's the truth. See ya. Proof. Bravely faced your fears and followed the correct path. I'll give you a fabulous prize. Oh, really? And he gives us his soul. Or the soul he was carrying. There we go. Well, let's go talk to Neko Cat. Maybe she's got a little bit more of an insight to this. Yep. I was like, is that who I think it is coming out of their room? Yes, it is. So it seems like Judgment Boy is actually not going to chase us, which is a good thing. So. Oh. Neko Cat is sleeping. Well, it makes sense. Cats tend to sleep more during the day. Um. Hmm. Well, first of all, I want to save. Especially after all that. You'll be back with it. I'm sure of it. Alright. Of course, when I go to hit the back button, they start. Just as I suspected, James was the culprit. Gregory, how does it feel to have your grandson reading that trash? Are you embarrassed or is it exciting? Oh, wow. The grandson's actually reading it. Let's kind of just see what that's going on about. <laughs> How long is Raymond going to stay here anyway? Come to think of it, Grandpa wrote it up in the register. Length of stay? Eternity. <laughs> Raymond's not gonna leave? That means more fun for me. <laughs> right, let's see what he's up to. Oh, he's eating. Hmm, yummy. He's not going to pay attention to me. Well, it said apples will appear here once in a while. We got a blueberry. Um, fruit used to grow in bushes often used in jams. It certainly is. I've made blueberry jam and jelly before, so it's a big putt. Do we make jelly in this game? Because that would actually be kind of fun. All you need is some biscuits, and there you go. Has such a delicious food. It, oh man. Yeah, that's going to make me hungry thinking about it. Alright. Oh, goodness. Do not walk in that room. Alright. I think I'm going to have to go to sleep and kind of st to start the next little bit. Alright. No? What? Oh, hello again. I trust you are enjoying your stay. <laughs> We're absolutely delighted to have you. Shall I introduce you to the other guests at this hotel? Um. I wonder what yes. Who would you does. like to hear about? Oh, who would like to hear about? Um. Let's hear about you. 
Me? I'm the manager of this hotel. <laughs> yes, I just am a decrepit old mouse. <laughs> also, apparently a pervy one. <laughs> James... <laughs> James is my grandson. <laughs> I don't know whose side he takes after, but that boy loves to cause all sorts of trouble. I thank you. He can be quite a handful sometimes, but he's taken a real shine to you. If you happen to see him, do stop by and chat with him for every once in a while. Neko Zombie. Neko Cat. He's a very dangerous one indeed. The last survivor of a family once caused us no tr uh, trouble to no end. Long ago, he was a handsome creature, silky fur, as you could see. He's a pathetic shell, unwanted, unloved. <laughs> That's what he gets for crossing me. Oh, pardon me, I was talking to myself. I don't like you. At all. She's a pink lizard who loves to draw uh, blood with her big, fat syringe. Whether her patient likes it or not. The fact is, that syringe is so huge, one shot would leave her patient half dead from blood loss. But her heart is just a normal young lady who reached the age when she starts worrying about her career and her love life. <laughs> oh, the joys of youth. Judge my boy. Whenever you're troubled about something, he comes along and gives you a choice between two extremes. But beware, if you try to lie. Those scales of truth of his will see right through it. <laughs> Still, I hear he just waves his arms around for show. <laughs> what about the frog fortune teller? She's... Oh, that's a woman? Oh. I feel sorry for her. Um, she's an expert fortune teller who runs our hotel's world-class fortune telling shop. She'll tell you the fortune of anyone who passes by. Always bad, and a hundred percent on the spot. The mad old killjoy. You can save the game at her place. I recommend it sometime. Trying it sometime. Where is it, you say? And well, she's two shops. She has to. She has set up two shops on the ground floor and the first floors of the hotel. So basically, the first and second floor. All right, so. That's nice to know. We don't have to come to this floor every time we have we want to save. We can do it on the second floor as well. Alright. Nicely done. I think we'll end this episode by handing off our soul to death. Let's get some sleep. I still like this guy. He's oh, so it's awesome. You. Did you manage to pick up any souls? Yes, I did. Oh, you only brought me one, huh? Well, it's not like I could get any more for you, dude. Take it. Yes. If I can hand over hey, more than one, then I lot. will. But... Here, I stamp your card for you. Uh, well, thank you. Look at that. While we've been here jabbering, a whole bunch of new guests moved in, and they got souls too. Too. Good luck there, buddy! <laughs> Good luck there, buddy! <laughs> anyway, we have finished Judgment Boy. The second night, Edge of Insanity. So I guess every three characters, there's going to be... Maybe that child that just moved in is so adorable. My Catherine, you certainly know quality when you see it. <laughs> oh, I've just got to get some of that blood. Now, now, let's not be hasty. <laughs> so lively and spirited. Oh, your mother will be thrilled. Indeed, she will. But remember, Catherine, neither dead nor alive. Catherine, are you listening to me? 
Don't worry. This time I'll make sure there's no escape! <laughs> Spirited. But how long will I be able to hide this secret from Mama? <laughs> Can't you just be quiet? I'm so hungry. Oh dear, oh dear. Why can't you just be quiet? You're upsetting our guest. I hope you can get out soon. Right along. <laughs> now to get ready to receive the new guests. Get. was that wow I well that's certainly something that's for sure apparently there's three new people we can find on this floor and I guess it's because we haven't met them in the game yet that's not gonna have their icons on it yet but anyway, yeah, that'll be it for this episode. <laughs> Next time we'll meet the three groups of new guests rather than just three guests. I thought it would just be three different guests. Nope, there's five different guests. One of them is trying to be basically the cursed doll from Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, the other two groups, I, I don't even know. The Cactus Gunman is just something else. I find him hilarious, but we'll see. Anyway, I, I can tell that that the doll girl is going to be something else, and she's going to chase us if she sees us. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, we'll continue this on next time. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys then. Later. Need a room for the night? <laughs>